In this tutorial, we will learn how to add a third-party package to our Flutter application. A third-party package in Flutter is a library or module created by developers outside of the core Flutter team. These packages are developed by the Flutter community or independent developers and are made available to others for use in their own Flutter projects. These packages provide pre-built functionalities that can be easily integrated into Flutter apps, saving developers time and effort by not having to write everything from scratch. Most third-party packages are hosted on pub.dev, the official package repository for Dart and Flutter. Developers can search for, download, and incorporate these packages into their projects. Integrating a third-party package into a Flutter project is straightforward. Developers only need to add the package to the pubspec.yaml file, run Flutter pub get, and then import and use the package in their Dart code. Most third-party packages are open source, allowing developers to view, modify, and contribute to the code. This transparency is beneficial for understanding how the package works or customizing it for specific needs. Let's start with an example. First, create a new Flutter application and add a center widget to the body. We will be adding a carousel slider to our project, which was developed and hosted on the pub.dev website. Search for carousel slider on Google and open the pub.dev website. You will find the latest version of the package, along with all available versions. Examples are provided on how to use the package, and instructions are shown for how to install it in your project. There are two installation methods available, but we'll use the easiest one. Copy the dependency and open your project's pubspec.yaml file. Paste the dependency in the correct location, making sure the indentation is correct. Save the file, and Flutter Pub Git will automatically run in Visual Studio Code. Then, we import the package into our page. There's another way to install it. Copy the installation command and paste it into the terminal. To open the terminal, select it from the view menu. Paste the command there and run it. This method achieves the same result. Next, import the package into the main.dart file. We will display the carousel inside a center widget. First, declare a list of image links. We've already studied lists and maps. Now, copy some image links from the internet and add them to the image list variable. Then, Add the carousel slider inside the center widget. We need to set two properties for the carousel slider widget, items and options. First, we set the options property, which uses carousel options. Here, we set the height to 400 px. and enable autoplay by setting autoplay to true.
Then, set enlarge center page to true. This property makes the center item in the carousel appear larger than the surrounding items. Next, set enable infinite scroll to true. This controls whether the carousel scrolls infinitely. Then, set the viewport fraction property. This determines how much space a single carousel item takes up relative to the visible area of the carousel. After that, set the remaining properties. Now, map each element of the image list to a container widget. Convert the mapped list into a list of widgets. Set the margin and apply box decoration for styling, like rounded corners, to display the image inside the container. Set the border radius to circular. Use network image to load the image from the web. Then, use the fit property to ensure the image fills the container while maintaining its aspect ratio. Finally, run the app. Everything should work perfectly. This is a simple example of using a third-party package in Flutter. Thank you for watching.